Hi there. Bit off for me recently, but I do love the game. I just wanted to try out the new features. And, oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Check out what I have fitted to my ship. You're going to like it. Crew. Ah, I'm going to put the second part in now, but... Crew lounge. No, I have passenger lounge first. I have, whoops. I love these new shortcuts to outfitting. It's so cool. They really have improved the interface again. I mean, it's getting lively, but... You know, a lot of options is what you want from a spaceship simulator. You know, this isn't a Windows Metro interface we're looking for here. I want menus, I want comments, I want stuff I can get my hands into. Right, so, what I have in my optional internals? First class passenger crew. Fantastic. Just been... The missions are well paid. They don't appear to come with much danger so far. As you can see, I'm rocking a... Uh, what I thought would be a good ship for it. You know? I'm just trying it out with a few missions. Up to 300,000. I've seen 27 million for a mission, but I didn't have a rep for it. So, some heavy missions. Now, what I need to get is I want to deck this thing out. I want to find myself a Class 5 shield. A Class 4 and Class 5 first class car, um, passenger lounge. And I can't put a fighter bay in it as well. That's the unfortunate part. I might have to drop one of the first class 5 lounges for the fighter bay. But I need... Mm, so fighter bay, first class lounge. Second first class lounge. Uh, I have to go for a Class 3 shield then. See, that's the problem. I want to have a Class 4 or 5 shield and the fighter bay and this ship just doesn't quite have big enough compartments it's not quite big enough for what I want to do but I'm gonna get there with it so I've picked up a mission already it's nice and easy same as with any other mission open galaxy map One thing I love to do when I give you mission points. Uh, doesn't appear that I have yeah, the place I'm going to. Doesn't appear that I know where it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless it's on one of the planets. Hmm. Nope. So I'm doing another video on the fighter bays and hiring crew and all that sort of stuff. For the time being, I'm just going to quickly do one of these missions. You also get to see my flying skills as I leave a terminal in a large, bulky, hard to maneuver ship. Any of you familiar with my earlier videos will have seen some of my disastrous docking and anti-docking anti launching. That's the word I was looking for. Since I've been doing the new dangerous ones, I've massively improved my um, massively improved my setup in terms of recording. So although you're not going to see much of an improvement in terms of the video quality, you will hear a big improvement in sound quality. I got myself a shock mounted mic and now you can hear clickety clickety thump 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 all the time. I know, I thought it added tension to the heavy bits of games, but you know, a lot of people didn't like it. Always seeing a lot of players at the moment. I mean, I'm, I'm quite central to the game at the moment. I think that's encouraging uh, interaction. Stay safe, I only play in open. I cannot understand people that will play an MMORPG in private mode. What's the point? Scan detected. A friend of mine's just come online. Frame shift drive charging. Medium security. I like that. These new things telling you if you're going to medium, low, or no security zones. I haven't come across a no yet, but I'll 
obviously I've been a long way out. I think 3,000 light years is the way. I don't know, is it 3,000 or is it 10? Can't look it up in frameshift drive, can you? I can't wait till my internet gets upgraded in January. If I get myself 5 or 10 megabit upload, I can start Twitch streaming. That'll be fun. Smash your feedback instead of talking into thin air. Alright, let's see where this guy wants to go. Charles Duras. Pavel Depo. So it's obviously this other planet. So with depots and things like that, they're on planet surfaces, so you need to be more careful about how you approach them. So a discovery scanner could be doing a better job. Planet places obviously don't have beacons like outposts and bases do. But it'll be on that last planet to the left over I just passed. While we're searching, let's have a look at the sun. And there it goes around the bulk of the ship.
I'm gonna bet it's not there either. Given the amount of money this mission's gonna cost, I'm betting it's a really, really, really far away one. passenger is still happy so this is kind of like a mini game so there are things indications here as to what the passenger will like and dislike um, and the passenger traits as in are they going to be a high value target are people going to come after you really quite fun um, it's just exactly what you'd want really I love this he's a rich tourist wants first class safe travels Demanding, highly likely to make demands while on board. Denying these requests will just reduce bass satisfaction. So, let's hope he doesn't ask to fly by the sun or anything. <clears throat> Though this one mission is about the same price as my rebuy cost. There we go. Mm-hmm. This may take a little time. It's a good number of ships coming from that planet. Hopefully the base I'm looking for will be on there. An advanced discovery scanner would not go missing a situation like this. It's got bases, but am I not close enough to see what they are? No, that just meant it was landable. There are no bases there. Let's check the next planet out. We have our destination. Passenger didn't seem to mind the detour while I looked at six other planets to uh, find the one I was looking for. I love the new ship delivery system as well. It just reminded me of that. Had my Diamondback Scout shifted 300 light, uh, no, sorry, 100 light years across space for a little more than 27,000. Or was it 20? Yeah, I don't know. 27,000 odd. Well worth it.
I like to go in sideways for some reason. I don't like, you know, when the target comes up, I've got all of this extra window to look at it. Okay, so am I in the green? Yes, I'm in the green. Orbital flight engaged. The trick with orbital flight, stay high enough to scoop around the planet. The angle is shallow enough that you decrease. 400 kilometers out, we should drop into orbital cruise. Straight enough of that. Looking good. Impact warning. When you're doing five kilometers a second. Only. Just slowed down enough to be this. Should be in glide mode now. If I keep it in the green, I should be able to glide all the way in. Reducing the engines is going to have no effect in this mode. Glide complete. That is a textbook. Well, not re entry, because it's not the planet I came from. That terminology is going to have to change when we get to space. Priority access will be granted upon request. Welcome to this federal code, Commander. They're green to me because I am a federal lapdog. It'll be seven kilometers out. Oh, this ship's heavy in atmosphere. I was kind of expecting that. Hundred and forty five meters per second is pretty quick. Flying in an this isn't really in an atmosphere, I don't think. But there is some sort of atmosphere around these plants. It's not like an atmosphere like Earth has. Overcook it. High gravity and atmosphere. I'm not going to make this a very fun experience if I go in too hard. One thousand meters from touchdown. Landing gear down. Good old scoop landing. landing. Deployed. Probably the worst one for your ship. I never tell what the front of the ship is, I'm so used to flying fighters. That's been scraping on the floor. <laughs> right, let's turn this in and get rid of the uh, Touchdown. Ship okay. secured. Welcome to our port Not commander. A cargo, it's a person. This one's in better repair than the place I left from. Follow the depot. Just see what you see. Welcome.
he seemed very happy. And that's dropping off my first passenger mission. As you can see, it's quite fun. Um, I didn't get any requests off him. Another guy gave me 10,000 to land within seven minutes. I think they may make requests like, kill that guy. I'll give you 100 grand. I'm down with that. It's not going to really happen in the ship I'm currently in, but it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.